Imagine going to Cuba for a second time in the span of a few weeks because you were so stupid enough to put your camera in a uh, carry-on luggage. Is that what it's called? Yeah, carry-on luggage. And uh, basically they stole it. They stole my camera with all my footage. And uh, we're here, back in Cuba for the second time. Because we're going to record again. Everything we did the first time. Yep. That's why we're here. So, follow me. We're going to have a great day here in Havana, Cuba. Havana with a B. Havana. Not with a V. Last night, I had a dream of us coming together. Last night, yep. Call me crazy for being here again, for coming to a communist country where there's barely anything. Yep, I'm crazy. Back in Cuba. I said it, I'm in Cuba. I didn't think I was gonna come back here so fast, but they took my camera with all my footage. I got home, I was crying, I was devastated. It took me about two weeks of trying to bribe people from the Cuban airport, trying to see if somebody would come up with a camera. But anyways, we are here again in Cuba, and I'm excited, I am not scared. We're, we're here, we're fighting a war. I came here with a purpose, and that was to make great content to get my YouTube channel back up. And uh, I was definitely not gonna let a setback, such a big setback, make me fall down on my knees. Any support right now, I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, but right now, we're in Cuba, we're here by ourselves. Let's see if we can find some chicas, some uh, pretty Cuban girls to flirt with. Copelia. And right here, this is a very popular ice cream shop. People come here and sit down and have their ice cream. So we're gonna go ahead and take a seat. Oh. All right, so I guess we just sit down and then uh, we sit down in this table and they come and uh, we order. There's, there's a cute girl right here in front of me. I should, uh, what do you think? I should go up to her and talk to her. Make some friends out here in Cuba. What do you guys think? I'm gonna try it, screw it. Offer her some ice cream. I'm gonna sit down and uh... Can I... Hola, me puedo sentar aquí? Sí, te ¿Cómo te llamas? Rocío. Rocío, hola. John Marco. Eres hola. muy, muy bonita. Gracias. <laughs> Estoy aquí haciendo un video, vine a Cuba. ¿Te gustaría estar en mi video? Um, está bien. So, Rocío, ¿te llamas? Sí. So, I just made a new friend here. Her name is Rocío. And uh, te puedo te puedo ofrecer un helado. ¿Quieres un helado? Eh, sí, está bien. ¿Qué gusto te gusta? Eh, mantecado. Mantecado. Sí. ¿Lo okay. has probado? No. ¿Qué cosa es mantecado? Yo no sé, pero es rico. Es rico. Sí. 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 Okay. Let me go get a mantecado ice cream for this young lady. I'm just kidding. This is my beautiful wife, my mom, who came with me on this trip to Cuba. Uh, I was trying to do a little funny skit, but that didn't work out. Last night, in my dream, I saw unity. I had, Bye. I had a taste of... While we're here in Cuba, we're going to be walking the streets just like this. Because Cuba, guys, is also very safe. That's one thing I noticed. Obviously, you want to be, you don't want to be traveling and going around with expensive jewelry or expensive stuff on top of you. That's, that, that goes for anywhere that you go. But here, guys, there's no guns because obviously the, the government needs to have everybody controlled by basically allowing nobody to have guns. If not, they would turn against them. Um, so there's no guns. So if the only violence you'll see is with, like, you know, knives. And I felt... I'm about to show you guys how unfortunately some people live here in Cuba. There's an old lady that lives by herself over here and my mom wants to go help her uh, and give her some stuff. So I, I just want to show you guys a, a bit of a perspective. Uh, check this out. She lives literally around outside a house that's falling apart because Cuba in Cuba, another big issue is that there's really bad infrastructure in the buildings and they're old and they don't get fixed. So what happens is that a lot of the buildings end up falling 
and unfortunately they end up falling on top of people and killing them and that's not a good sound but yeah my mom's just gonna barge herself in <laughs> Um, but yeah, as you guys saw in there, oh man, poor lady, she, she has Alzheimer's, doesn't even remember who her family members are. She thought my mom was her family. Through this trip, my goal is to show you guys the reality of Cuba, what it's really like, because a lot of people that come here to Cuba or tour around Cuba, they don't go to the right places. You know, they go to the touristy spots uh, where it's all nice. And I'm going to show you guys the touristy spots too. But we're going to start off our Cuba trip by showing you what it's really like in the streets. Right now, today, there is a festivity, a lo uh, local holiday, so a national holiday here in Cuba. So people are not working. So all the, clo all the stores are actually closed. So, mommy, what do you think of Cuba so far? Get to piensa de Cuba. You can you can say it in Spanish. I mean, do it in English. You speak English. Uh, I do like it a lot. Yeah. Yes, I enjoy it. I enjoy helping helping people. You enjoy helping. And people. they're very very lovely. Lovely, humble. They, they uh, yeah, they love you. They kiss you. You don't get that anywhere anymore. Yeah. People are so selfish and so you know. So you feel more uh, the warm of the people here yeah. like they hug you without even knowing you and they're very um grateful too grateful for whatever for little things it's not even nothing yeah. we have so much we're just giving nothing yeah or any time you come to Cuba, if you know any friends or family members, airlines will give you a free luggage and uh, usually people fill that luggage up and they bring food and uh, accessories, clothing to their families, friends, because tr truthfully in Cuba there's no import and it all depends on the people that are importing from boats, from airplanes and that's why everybody taxes and charges the most that they can because there's generally nothing available here. Right now, I'm going to show you what a Cuban gym looks like. So when Cubans go to the gym, they got to go to particular spots like these. And they're not like big gyms like LA Fitness and Esporta or whatever gyms you guys go to. This is what it looks like. ¿Y el colega? ¿Está aquí el colega? ¡Vamos, dura! ¡Vamos, dura! Esto está mal hecho, esto está mal hecho. Colega, me tiene que hacer otro review del gym. We better we better work out. Hey, Gilbe, ven, vamos a hacer pesa, ven, ven, ven. Check it out. I guess I'm. Video. Check it out. This is it. We got a couple bench press machines. Vete al gimnasio. ¿Dónde se pesa? Dale, Gilbert. Enséñale. ¿Cómo es? There you go. Cuatro más. ¿Cuánto es eso? ¿Cuántas libras son cada una? Vamos, 
tú quieres ir para abajo, sí. Podría llegar, ¿sabes? ¿sí? Bueno, perdón por interrumpir. Pues sí, this is uh, what the gym looks like here in Cuba. That's my soccer buddy. Last time we played soccer. You already know. I got a nice little pump out here in a Cuban gym. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, that's what a Cuban gym looks like. Let me ask him how much a gym membership is. Pregunta, ¿cuánto cuesta la membresía para ir al gimnasio aquí? 1100. 1100 al mes. Que son. 1100. Cuesta que una vez. 1100. So if you want to go to the gym here in Cuba, it costs you $8. That's actually kind of expensive for a, for a daily Cuban. I'm pretty sure that's expensive. Hair needs to, bro, I need a haircut. You did not pay $10 a month. I paid $30 a month at LA You because you want to go to a fancy gym. LA Fitness is not fancy. But it's bigger. It has a pool. Exactly. It has a jacuzzi. It has a sauna. That is a, that is a fancy gym. We like our sauna, you know? What's wrong with that? Este este es el domino del barrio. El domino del barrio. Oh, this is where the real domino players are at. So if you, if you want to play domino and you're good at it, look, oh, look, they're arguing, bro. Mira, mira, mira. Están peleando. They're fighting. Vamos a jugar. Allá juegan por dinero, seguro. Sí, claro. ¿Quieres jugar, mami? Tú te tiré. Está caliente el juego. No fuimos muy ahora, claro, no fuimos muy ahora. ¿Quién es mejor? ¿Quién está ganando? Ellos dos. Mira, no han salido. Eso están sentados ahí. Ahora ahora. All right, so right now we're with the crew and uh, something that is important when you guys come to Cuba is the exchanging of your money, right? Um, here, money is very complicated. So the way it works, you have the MLS or MLC or whatever the hell it's called. MLC, which is like uh, a card that you have to use uh, that's given by the government to the Cuban people. And the only way to even use it if somebody sends you euros or dollars directly to the card um, so that's like a whole complicated process. A la Madrid, a la Madrid, a la Madrid. <laughs> Oye, ¿tú quieres pelear? <laughs> the guy had a Barcelona shirt. He's like, a la Madrid, a la Madrid. Like, yo, like, screw Barcelona. It's all about Madrid. But yeah, so right now, we are actually going to meet up with somebody uh, to exchange some money. Uh, the exchange rate always changes here in Cuba because the Cuban peso is literally worthless. So one dollar right now is 185 pesos. So we're actually going to go find somebody that exchanges it for that price. Now, if you guys ever come to Cuba, don't get fooled because there's going to be people trying to say like 170 or 160 pesos for a dollar and try to make a lot of money on the exchange. So before exchanging your money, talk to some locals, tell them, hey, hook me up, look online to see the exchange rate and try to get about the same. So right now we have a guy who's gonna exchange the money exact. So the money is at 185 per dollar. So that's what we're gonna do. And you guys are gonna see how the process is. That was the entire process of changing your money here in Cuba. So you know, you want to find somebody good, somebody decent, that's going to give you a good exchange, somebody you could trust. 
You know, don't be dumb. You know, you got this. You can look for a good person to exchange your money with. We got, we exchanged $400 and we got 74,000. 74, guys, I'm a millionaire here in Cuba. Okay, only here in Cuba though. Don't get it twisted. Oh, and, and Zimbabwe too. I think in Zimbabwe, I'm a trillionaire. We're passing by my, my old school. We're right here? Yep. So this is where you went to school? From 7th grade to ninth grade. 7th grade to ninth grade. Yep. Wow. So you have a lot of memories here, huh? I do. It was one of the best times. Really? Right here? Yep. <laughs> is it closed down now or what? No, it's just, it's after hours, after school mm. hours. Check it out. That is what a Cuban middle school looks like. There you go. How does it feel to be back in Cuba? It feels amazing. It feels like I never left. Really? Yeah, it feels so good. La Furia de los Dioses. So this is a movie theater right here, which we're going to come in tomorrow and check it out. Uh, which I don't know when we're going to go, but when we go, we're going to show you. And they're showing La Furia de los Dioses, only one movie time. Uh, it's from the US, yeah. Oh, and Shazam, the movie. Shazam, the superhero. Oh. Explain to me what this is. I've never seen. Mira ese carro. It's like a motorcycle car. Mira, es como un motocicleta. It doesn't have a wheel. <laughs> this is a motorcycle car. I've never seen a motorcycle car. Yo, that's pretty cool. Because that probably has like a motorcycle engine, so it's really good on gas. Oh, and check it out guys, this was my grandfather's Fiat. My grandfather, when he was alive, he had that car. Here in Cuba, you guys are gonna notice that every single car is intact. If it's a car, there's no young junkyard where they eventually go to, no. The cars are reused and reused and used and sold. Like, 1960 cars, I was talking to one of the taxi drivers, they go for $20,000 here, a car, with like hundreds of thousands of miles, because the thing is, there's no imports of cars here, so like whatever cars are on the road, like as long as they can fix it and it can keep running, they do that. And you know, these cars will break down over and over and over again. They just keep fixing them, using them, and that's just how it is here in Cuba. Nothing goes for granted. Everything is used, reused, everything gets fixed. Even if your blender breaks, you know, like usually like when your blender like breaks, you just go and get a new one. Here, you, you replace it. You just fix it and fix it. And fix it. And fix yeah. it. Even if it's from the 1970s. Even if it's from the 60s. What are we doing? So we're going to show the Airbnb. It's two rooms. Can we all take a picture real quick? Yep. <laughs> um, Can you introduce your friend? Okay. This is Aile. She's my childhood friend. I've been friends with her for over 20 years. Wow. Yep. Yes. And you've never left Cuba, right? Nunca. Nunca salido de Cuba, ¿verdad? Nunca. So, soon, soon. Pronto, pronto. Alright, this is Airbnb. I think we paid for a total of four nights and five days. $3.54. Okay. And this is what you get for that. It's not bad. And we're in right in downtown, too. Yeah, this is very central. And here is the Airbnb. They did a very nice job. We did a good job selecting this one too. Very modern, uh, this one here. They have microwaves, stoves. You will not see a particular Cuban household's house look like this at all. You know, this is something that, you know, they had a business, the people that have this Airbnb, and they're able to uh, accommodate us like this. But yes, it's two rooms. This is mommy's room. Nice bathroom, that's not normal that Nice have. little bathroom. If you guys want to check out this Airbnb, I'll link so it down paper, below. That's a very uncommon thing. Yes, right here, gold. this is gold here in Cuba. Yes. Bingo, literally. <laughs> yes. Towels, water, we have water, yeah. air. Very nice, air conditioning. Yeah. We're privileged here in Cuba uh, too. We have uh, a little refrigerator here. Oh, refrigerator tour. Yo, they want us to get drunk. This is Cuban water. beer, let me see. Lager beer, timber. Mira, Sevilla, España. This is Spain beer. Wow, interesting. Cool. We got a fantastic view to the other building. <laughs> Balcony. 
We've got a nice little balcony view. And there we go, guys. Oh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off the video right here. Um, this is my first video back. I don't know what to expect. I'm very excited to be back on YouTube. And I really appreciate anybody that could support me. Um, I know that uh, it's going to be a rough ride. So anybody that sticks with me, I really appreciate you for that, seriously. Um, contact me on IG. I'm trying to contact... The, I want to get in, in contact with you guys as I'm going to start traveling around the world this summer. Pretty much it uh, for this video. We'll leave it at that. I really loved my first day here at Cuba. We got so much to do. I am so exhausted. We woke up at 4 a.m. But uh, yep, we'll catch. We'll leave it. We'll leave it at that for tonight. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is your boy Marco, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.